Greetings, you moldering Karox. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham, and this is the Crack a Pack on LRRMTG. Please subscribe to our channel today. We are opening a pack of Strixhaven. Stri Strixhaven. Stri the school of Str Strixhaven colon School of Mages is actually the full name of the set, technically speaking. This was given to us by Kevin and Elizabeth Rushlow. I presumably through the mail. So thank you for that. If you want to give us a thing through the mail, here's an address for that. You don't have to, but thank you. Let's get into it. Great. <clears throat> Starting off strong with Lash of Malice. One black for an instant target creature gets plus two minus two until end of turn. Hypothetically, theoretically, outside use case, it could pump a creature to deal damage if the creature has more than two toughness. But generally speaking, you're just killing utility creatures in the early turns of the game, and fair play to you. Also, Magecraft is a thing that's relevant. Next up, Pop Quiz, idiots. I'm sorry, Pop Quiz. It's Pop Quiz. I think I made that joke last time. It's two and a blue for an instant. Draw a card and then just learn. Okay? Just, like, learn. Simply reveal a lesson card you own from outside the game and put it into your hand or discard a card to draw a card. Okay? Uh, I love pop quiz. So, I've said before, my favorite draft archetype in this format is big stupid teamer stuff. And that involves going to the going to your lesson board, your learn board, the the school board to get lessons uh there. So, having a card that is instant, again, magecraft draw a card and learn. It's really draw two cards if you're using it correctly. Uh, yeah, pop quiz is great. You know something really good card in that deck? Scurried Colony. It's one and a green for a 2-2 two -two squirrel with reach, and it gets plus two plus two as long as you control eight or more lands, which is kind of the goal in this deck as well, but also just again a 2-2 two -two reach is a good early blocker for you to trade off to not die while you build up your massive empire of lands and then cast big and profoundly powerful spells. Boy, every card a banger. Heated debate. Two and a red for an instant. This spell can't be countered. Reminder text. This includes by the ward ability. I love that they put that on here. Because that's that's less reminder text and more of a gameplay hint. Because they could have just said it can't be countered. And leave it up to you to get got by it is usually probably what would have happened there. But the fact that it specifies, because Ward is so new at the time of this coming out, they're like, by the way, because Ward counters, so this can't be countered, so don't pay the Ward. Hopefully I helped someone with that today, uh, as I learned the hard way. Heated Debate deals four damage to target creature or Planeswalker. Excellent. Love to have a Heated Debate. Okay, so the first card in here that I'm not like excited to put into a deck is Essence Infusion, and even then it's still pretty alright, especially in the Silver Quill deck. One and a black for a sorcery, put two plus one plus one counters on target creature, it gains lifelink until end of turn. Really what I like to do in Strixhaven, School of Mages, is there's two decks I like to draft, and they encompass all of the colors. We got red, green, blue over here, and black and white over here. Those are the decks. That's it. That's all I want to do. The rest of it, I don't care. And if you want to fight about it, then let's square up. Square up is the next card. It's one and a hybrid. Oh, why can't all Ravnican guilds have disappeared out of my head? Simic. Wow. <laughs> this isn't even like the last episode of these that we're recording on this particular recording day. Uh, I just lost all brain power. One in a Simic for an instant target creature has base power and toughness 4-4 four, four until end of turn. Very cute, good flavor, fun, bad card. Um, Star Pupil is next. Single white mana for a 0-0, zero, zero, so pretty weak, but hold on. It enters with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Awesome. So this human wizard actually can survive. And when Star Pupil dies, put its counters on target creature you control. So you want to keep loading it up with other other counters and then pass those on to somebody else. When he graduates, we're going to say he's graduating and not just being murdered. This is a dangerous school. 
Silver Quill Campus is next. It enters the battlefield tapped, and it taps for white or black. And for four and tap, you can scry one. And I'm going to say that again for the people playing Arena, or anybody. For four and tap, you can scry one. These lands do something. I see a lot of people, for, you know, missing their scries. Hey, it's Moldering Karok. I like when that happens, when the card that I say shows up in the pack. Two black green for a 3-3 zombie crocodile with trample and lifelink. It's nice. It's a simple card. It's good stuff. It's, it works well in the uh, Golgari life gain deck, which is a, a deck that I also enjoy, but not as much as those other two. Introduction to Prophecy is the first lesson that we've seen so far, and it's not, you know, it may be one of the least exciting ones, but it is colorless, so it can get to any deck. Three mana, sorcery, scry two, draw a card. Sure. Why not? Mascot Interception is three and a red for a sorcery, and it costs three less to cast if it targets a token. So it's real good at stealing creature tokens. You gain control of that creature until end of turn, untap it, it gains plus two plus oh, and haste. And then you can hit them with it. Far from the trappings of royalty, Rowan and Will found inspiration from the most popular sport on campus, Mage Tower, which is stealing the mascot part of the game of Mage Tower? Surely some of the schools have advantage here, because pictured on the card is a guy holding a pest, but the other mascots are a large ghost, a flying ghost that's also made of ink, uh, and enormous bear dog elemental, and What's the other mascot? Oh, and a fractal, which could be any, any size. Seems to me that the Witherbloom are at a significant disadvantage if that's part of the game. If anyone knows how to play Mage Tower, good for you. Uh, Divide by Zero is next. It's two and a blue. This is a great one as well. Return target permanent or spell with mana value one or greater to its owner's hand. So you can't hit tokens. Uh, or lands but whatever and then learn so it's great tempo again get the thread out of the way go get something from the school board learn good stuff golden ratio very funny one green blue for a sorcery draw a card for each different power among creatures you control and it's fine it's only fine unfortunately it's not really worth putting this card into your limited deck but it's okay a rare is Hall of Oracles. It's a land, taps for colorless, and for one and tap, add one mana of any color. So it's unknown shores at its baseline, but also tap, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature, activate only as a sorcery, and only if you've cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn. So it's sort of like mage crap. No, cast, not copied. You can't, well, but how likely are you to be copying a spell without casting a spell? You can tell me those things in the comments too if you want. But the point is, uh, yeah, if you cast a spell, you get to make a creature bigger. Sure, fine. At the very back of the pack, we have a pest token. I, I did mention those. And our mystical archive card is Claim the Firstborn. So not the most thrilling mystical archive card it could have been, but we're here. It's a single red mana. Sorcery, gain control of target creature with mana value three or less until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. Cool pack. Now, in terms of value of the pack, we're looking at, like, uh, 89 cents. So not, like, wall-to-wall -wall bangers today. But there's a couple great cards in here for draft, and I honestly don't know what to pick. And it's either I'm divided between, divide by zero, and just heated debate, because mascot interception is not a great red card, so you're sort of cutting out red as well, and heated debate just is always good. So it's probably going to be Divide by Zero or Heated Debate and uh, hoping to get back like Scurred Colony, Pop Quiz, uh, maybe Introduction to Prophecy. I've never run Claim the Firstborn, but eh, it's possible. Also, we'll say Heated Debate. I like to have have a good heated debate with... No, I don't, actually. I, I don't. You can argue about whatever you want. I'll be over here trying to... Just have some tea and be quiet. Hey, uh, thanks everybody for listening to me ramble on about this pack of cards. And thank you again to Kevin and Elizabeth Rushlow for sending us this pack of Strixhaven School of Mages. It's been a blast. Until next time, I have been Graham. James is on tech. Matt edits these. Heather gets them online. And thank you all for supporting us at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. 
We really appreciate it. Thanks so much. See you next time.